welcome back to another video on head head hog so today we're going to do a clutch update video it's not what i wanted to discuss but it happens in the industry so let's get right into it so this is my incubator don't judge my incubator bro it gets the job done because we cooked eggs so it's warm enough so unfortunately we had a mishap where a sensor was knocked off so a lot of these eggs are gone these two are doing perfect this one's doing perfect and then you know some of these like i checked all of these these ones all look pretty good they're dented in and i've been adding water and a bunch of stuff to the substrate they like to go flat and pop back up but it looked like i have three good ones for sure that one looks pretty good now these two i'm not i'm not sold on these two are the main ones i'm worried about there's one in there that still looks good and a couple in there that looks good so I mean, hey, we're looking about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight babies when I should have none. So that's pretty much most of the cl uh, clutch update. But I kind of want to add more to this. So I'm pretty much, I'm just going to leave these in here because, you know, you incubate until there's no debate. But it's crazy. But this is the first hypo clutch right here. So these two should have been hatching in about three weeks. But things happen, and I'm just happy to have some babies, you know. But I wanted to give you guys a clutch update video, and then I'm going to probably tack this on to the ones that hatch, because these ones should be hatching. So I'm going to just slap this on the, probably just save this, and then add this on to any ones that hatch. See, like this one, I feel like it's too far gone. And there was definitely a baby inside of there. And I've been adding water to this every day, different things, trying to re, you know, add moisture to the thing but this is the only one that seems to be doing any good but that's pretty much it and then i'm going to you know just keep uh keep faith keep hope but yeah you see those are already going moldy or dead that one's dying i'm pretty sure that one's good man those ones are toast toastitos Hoping that one's still good. I might, any ones, I might just take these ones out, move them into there. And I'm just, yeah, so hopefully, guys, we have eggs. That one still looks pretty good. Like I said, some of them don't look like they're terrible, but they don't look good. So, but yeah, thank you, guys. So, guys, we have big news here at the Head Head Establishment. You see what I see? We got Pips. So I don't want to bother him too much because he's starting to look scared. But when these guys come out in like a couple days, I'm going to definitely give you guys better footage of them, better pictures, all that. But this is just a quick little rundown. I literally just got here. So these ones should be hatching pretty soon too. But you see, these ones don't look so good. They look dead. The only ones that might hatch is that one, that one, and then that one. Because I don't even see a thing. think that one has an albino inside of it. So hopefully. Yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to let them come out of their eggs. So I'm pretty sure that one's going to hatch. That one, that one, and that one, and probably that one. Hopefully all of them hatch. But, and then, yeah, the only two, is those two are going to hatch. And then these ones still look phenomenal. So. All right, guys. This is the next morning. And as you can see, we have quite a few hypos these two were not gonna hatch and i checked them it's sad because those two are also hypos but so far there are five hypos I, I can't tell i know that one looks normal that one's definitely a hypo kind of for sure That one's a kind of, that one's a hypo. And then even those two I threw away were hypos. So that means it would have gave me like eight, eight hypos out of nine eggs, bro, which is a lot of hypos. So yeah, they were throwing hypos, guys. So I'm gonna let these guys come out a little bit more and give you guys a better update. Okay, guys, so we have literally more hypos out. They're literally coming out like crazy now. 
and I would have had eight hypos out of no seven hypos out of eight eggs, but things that happen. And we also have a dual sire clutch. Definite dual sire. So I'm seeing two anacondas, two regulars, and then uh, multiple hypos. So this one still has the umbilical fall off, and then that's another hypo. Oh, it's good. Nice hypo. That one's also a hypo. And that's a hypo in there. So we have five hypos. One normal, which is an anaconda, 100% head. Oh, look at the little babies. Alright guys, so most of the clutch is out. This one's taking its sweet time. I don't know why. But we have these two finally wanted to come out. And we have a dual sire clutch. So I'm going to post pictures of both parents. Oh no, both dads pretty much. In the video. But it's kind of hard to tell. But one's a lot more red than the other. This little guy's slow to come out. But he's still moving. He's responsive. 